Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will to continue talking about the data visualization. And today we will talk about RadViz, uh, Mosaic, Save, and Line diagrams. Let's go to Orange Data Mining uh, directly, and I'm gonna clear this, and I'm gonna show you a few things. The first thing, we will um, uh, get the file widget, and we will connect to Iris dataset, as you can see. So uh, from here. As you know that you can directly connect to data table to visualize to see the data in a table. See, this is the table. We have 150 instances for features, etc. And the first thing I would like to show you is the line chart. Line chart for the features. So I'm gonna connect data to line uh, time series to time uh, series. So this is line chart, and the line chart you can find it in time series let's go to time series uh, panel this is the time series and this is the line chart you can install it from ads on as you can see you can install the time series and uh, this is the time series I click ok and it will be installed so in the line chart first if you double click what I gonna do I gonna first clear all this and I gonna um, add a plot so I'm gonna add plot and I'm gonna use Sybil length. This is the Sybil length. So in the Sybil length, let me maximize this. Okay, these are the numbers. Okay, uh, exist in all the instances. So maybe the uh, the lower one is 4.3 and the maximum is 7.9. So you can actually visualize this data as a time series, and this is important because. If you add also another ch one, uh, another plot, uh, by clicking add plot, you can go to a bitel um, uh, width, and also you can add more one, and you can have bitel length, and also you can add another one, and you can go to bitel width. So you have these four, di four diagrams. Maybe uh, from visualizing uh, all these four features, you can figure out some some relationship correlation or anything that you would like to see based on these numbers so uh, you if you can uh, uh, for example go into this area where the same area here also it's almost replicated in the uh, sibyl length and bitel width see they are lower and then they can increase and the the, the more you, you increase one it the the uh, uh, it will increase the other one but also you can see the differences in the sibyl length and sibyl width sibyl length and sibyl width you can see all these numbers and how they are visualized so this is the first one the second one i would like to show you is the mosaic mo mosaic and in mosaic uh, you can double click and from here you can see exactly all the mosaic based on the iris the three uh, classes and based on bitter length and bitter width or you can select from here which uh, which uh, features you would like to com uh, to combine all together or you can click on the find on formative here and you click start and it will identify for you all these you know diagrams uh, this is for example the highest score uh, the, high, the highest ranking uh, score which is bitter length this is bit of width and this is bit of length with sibyl width and so on and so forth and you can see all these you know diagrams based on the values if it's greater than certain numbers less than certain numbers etc and also if you want you can click for example this this um, rectangle this area and you can expose it to a data table and the, this is the data table that you've chosen okay you can select any any one uh, maybe this is this is the one or this one and you can see the results here so this is the uh, mosaic the third one is the save diagram uh, save diagram uh, which is also important so you can double click this one and you can choose which um, uh, feature you would like to see this is the bit length the width the length and the bitter width so you can see all these based on the classes okay and the bitter width that you've chosen and also you can combine the scores you can click start and you can see 
if you combine for example better length with better width what will happen as you can see all these are changed based on the combination uh, and this is important to visualize this data to dig down into this data and see the relationship and the correlation between data and uh, what are the different combinations that you can use so uh, also uh, before save diagram you can go actually into rank and from rank you can also go into save uh, diagram and you can choose for example this uh, first field which is bitter length and you can then view it here this is the bitter length as you can see and you can view it in this way the last one is the RAS diagram uh, RAS the um, RAD RAD VIG diagram that visualized diagram this is uh, based on Hoffman uh, in 1997 uh, and it's non-linear uh, two-dimensional visualization if you click on it you can choose which which items you would like to combine for example you can combine this and this and you can have four of them or you can eliminate one and you can actually uh, click here to reshape uh, this uh, rad visualization uh, diagram you can click on the uh, suggest features and start it will get you the highest score this is the highest score you can then browse into other combinations okay to visualize the data also you can pick up for example this uh, item and you can go into a data table data table and from data table you can see this record and see the rad viz xy uh, group etc all these features okay so uh, these are the diagrams that I wanted uh, really to show you so you can maybe use them in your um, in your uh, reports when you deal with the data set when you deal with your data set so this is the lesson for today I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, uh, till we see uh, or I will create a new lesson or, or two lessons uh, in the data visualization to see also more diagrams uh, till then, um, enjoy uh, Orange Data Mining and see you there. Bye.